You ready? Because you're not going to get this guy. Kurt Busch in the one. He's my guy. I think that um, if you go back to Bristol when it had a ton of speed, when the groove did move around, it's, it's a driver's racetrack. I think he has a ton of momentum in the one car. I was iffy on I, him. I'm a Kurt Busch fan, remember? That's my guy at the end of the couch. It's not a Kurt Busch I mean, Bush his Bristol, I'll say he played Kurt Busch last well, week. Yeah, his <laughs> Bristol numbers are, are very Jekyll and Hyde. So this podcast has value to a lot of players, but I don't know why we bring RJ on. <laughs> <laughs> because he's like, I'm not going to play Penske. They're on his lineup. I don't like Kurt Busch. He's in his lineup. I'm not going to play. Like, he basically <laughs> I haven't been on here and spews information. I haven't, been on, I haven't been on for two weeks, so I haven't had anything to say. All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> Kurt Busch, let's start. Let's stick right in the Chip Ganassi camp. Let's clean them both up. Kurt Busch, I am a positive for Kurt Busch for sure. Um, we talk about usages, right? So, he's a guy. Mm -hmm. I have some usages. I expect him to run really well. I'm in on Kurt Busch. Kyle Larson. Second in both races last year. So here's my problem with Kyle Larson. You ready? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they've lost the horseshoe. I don't know what they if they walked under a ladder. I don't know if they broke a mirror. But, you know, some races this year, you can be like, ah, oh, you know, they didn't execute. They had a few issues. But it's like it's more than that. It's like he snake bit, right? Because you and I had this conversation. He looked good at Texas mm -hmm. all weekend long. He was the fastest in everything. Like you're like this. So in my mind, that's why I had him in my lineup because I'm like, this is this breakthrough week. I don't know if they cut a tire, abused a tire. That's not here for conversation. The simple fact is him as a driver did nothing other than hit the wall. So I, I just – I'm going to be wrong one week before I put him in my lineup. I am avoiding him. Even though the numbers say put him in, I'm out. So even if he leads every practice, comes out, qualifies in the top five, you're going to avoid him? <laughs> RJ would definitely make a stance here. So I would say, yes, yes, I'm avoiding Because he just did that last week at Texas. I uh, put him in, and he – Throat punch me. I'm the, I'm the polar opposite of you. I'm all in on him. Oh, boy. Me too. I like Kyle Larson. This is where I'm making my move. I right hear you guys are all he, in. He, he's never finished outside the top ten in anything since mm -hmm. stage points mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. One of three pigs. And to be, clear, to be clear, <laughs> I didn't care for him at Texas, even with the practice times. Oh, look. I didn't. Did yeah, you man, have him two weeks to Did you have him in? Box. <laughs> what? Was he in your lineup? No, he was not in my lineup at all. You can't see as tall as that soapbox is. He wasn't going to say that if he had him in. How many points you have, Leslie? Less. Less than everyone. Okay, so there you are. We're going to go through. I think we're going to do it by organization this week. Chip Ganassi Racing. I think everybody likes uh, the 42 but me. Uh, it seems like we're split on the one. Um, pretty positive at the moment. We'll see. We'll see how practice goes.